uh, when we talk about climate change, we're not talking about polar bears. <laughs> you know, we're not talking about somewhere uh, far away in some distant future. We're talking about American lives and livelihoods here and now, and we're talking about what kind of future we'd like to have, not in 2100, but in the next decades. Everything about our lives will be impacted by coming climate change. And so the question that this report really helps articulate is specifically what kinds of impacts can we expect? So thinking about the economic losses and damages, impacts on agricultural systems, impacts on freshwater resources, all of that considerations of translating those physical climate impacts into human impacts on our lives, on our livelihoods. Certainly, we talk a lot about resilience here in the United States. It applies to the wildfire crisis out west, as it applies to sea level rise and coastal flooding, especially as it relates to inland flooding that's been so catastrophic for farming communities and more rural communities across the Midwestern United States. And so through each of the kinds of climate impacts that we've seen in the headlines, more often than not, there's a large body of scientific literature that helps us understand uh, how these threats will increase over the next decades. And putting that science to work for resilience at the community scale and where necessary at the national scale.